Nikita Limford with Team Four Fitness. Now I'm making a video real quick to show you some of the things that I am doing to stay organized and thereby save time so that you can spend more time with your family, less time finding things on your computer when you're working your business. So my first tip is for you guys to create a Dropbox account or a Google Drive account. Both of them are free, both of them have apps that you can download on your phone. But the reason for this is you need to keep your computer fast, working fast. So if you save all your information on Google Drive, Dropbox, then it doesn't slow down your computer. Um, also, then you can access it from anywhere. So if you're at your mom's house and someone needs information on how to sign up for your challenge group, you have all the steps, everything in your Dropbox. And same thing from your phone. iPhones, if you do not have an iPhone, you do not have a smartphone, I'm telling you now that just consider it a business expense and invest in a smartphone because you can do so much more with your phone um, and work your business from anywhere by having a smartphone. So with your Dropbox um, folders, you are going to create a bunch of folders. Now, one of the things that I do um, are like your fitness quotes and motivational quotes and things like that. I grab all that stuff mostly from Facebook. So I will post in this little search button up here on Facebook. I'll just post like uh, fitness or inspiration or positive or clean eating or lifestyle or happiness, like just keywords. And it will pull up like a ton of different popular Facebook pages that relate to that. So you can look through those, um, check out all the different quotes that they have, and I just pull those off, save them into a folder on Dropbox. And if you are on a PC, then if you click on that photo, down at the very bottom, when you put your mouse down here at the bottom, there'll be a little um, a hyperlink that says options. You can click on that and you can download that photo to your computer. So if you don't have a Mac, you can't just drag it off. That's how you can get around that. Um, but just save photos. Don't repost. Don't I mean don't share. Um, don't copy and paste people though. I have people copy and paste my stuff all the time and it's annoying. <laughs> so um, be original. Like write your own thing. What I'll do is I'll just share um, what it made me think about. You know. So if I'm looking through all of my um, the pictures in my inspiration folder. Um, inevitably, there will be a photo that stands out to me for one reason or another. So just write down like what it makes you think about how it applies to you, um, why it stands out to you at that moment, what it reminds you of, a story, people like stories, um, things like that. So be original, don't copy and paste people, but you know, you can take the photos. That's what I do. So um, you're keeping those all in a folder. Fitness quotes, recipes, tons of stuff like that. Now another folder that I have on here is labeled Beachbody Transformations. So I have that and then I have subcategories within that folder for all of the different programs. P90X, Insanity, Rev Abs, Turbo Fire, all of those. And then I go in that folder and that's where I save that picture. So I will then, right when I pull off that photo from Carl Deichler's Facebook page or the P90X page or whatever, I mean, all of those you can, you can repost. Um, but I will say like, when I save the photo, I'll be like, Melissa, 75 pounds, turbo fire and rev abs, whatever. And so then I know like, okay, her name's Melissa. She did rev abs and turbo fire. She lost 75 pounds. If it tells you like the time frame, I'll put that in the, um, the title of the photo as well. So you're just renaming that file with all the information. So it's easy for you to remember. You're not saving a bunch of photos and then you forget what the story is there. Um, the cool thing about this too, actually that I do is when I have a customer and I'm talking to them about Turbo Fire and sharing that with them. I mean, I do like sending them um, videos, but not always do people click on the video and, and open that. 
So they like photos though, you know, photos, those transformation photos are very, very powerful. Um, so I'll send somebody like two or three transformation photos about the program that I'm talking to them about. So, um, and also finding the ones that relate to them. So if they've told me I'm trying to lose 35 pounds, then I'll try and share the transformation photos that are of someone who has 35 pounds to lose, or they, they lost 35 pounds. Um, just yesterday I had someone who messaged me and was saying, you know, oh, you always post photos of somebody who only had a little bit of weight to lose and I have over 100, over 100 pounds to lose. Do you have any transformation photos of people who've lost that much weight? And I was quickly able to go into Beachbody Transformation folder and look at these and send her like 10 photos just like that, super fast, didn't take up a bunch of my time, and then I was able to move on. So that is one thing I do. Um, in here, I also have a group for my challenge groups, a folder for my challenge groups. Now with this, you're gonna end up doing the same assignments typically. If you're not, you should be. Makes it simple for your challenge groups. So I have a document in there with all the daily assignments that I can just copy and paste. Um, you can use Hootsuite, Sendable.com, a program um, application like that to automatically schedule those posts for you in your challenge groups. Um, but having it all set out like this is great. Another thing I do in this challenge group folder is I have my challenge group list. So I created a document and I put everybody's name on that list. Now the benefit for this is, let me show you this. When you are in your challenge group, so I've got this challenge group open, my uh, summer, sl slim, summer Slim Down group. Over here in the right hand corner of your group, I know you guys can't see this, but I'm still pointing to it. <laughs> Over in the right hand corner, there is a little icon. It looks like a magnifying glass. If you click on that, and you type in everybody's name. So let's say I type in Melissa. It shows me all of the last few times that Melissa made a post. You can click on that, just put your mouse over that and click on anywhere on that post. And it will show you the last post that she made. Um, this makes it so much easier for you to see who is posting and who isn't. So when you check your challenge groups, Go off a document, type in their name one by one, then you can just go right back to their last post, comment on it, like it, whatever. Um, you can see really fast that I can see right here, Melissa, the last time she posted was on Monday. So it's Wednesday, I'm gonna be sending her a message today and being like, hey, it's been two days since she posted. Where are you? Are you doing okay? What can I do to help you? So that makes it easy. Then you don't have to have a chart and make a little list, but they know that you're paying attention, that you care. Um, and then you also, I mean, if you're scrolling through your challenge groups every single day, you are wasting time because when people comment on something, it brings it up to the very top. So sometimes you have to sit there and read through 10 like old posts before you get to the new ones. Um, so just do this, create a document with all of their names, type in their names one by one when you check the group and you're done. Um, move on to something else. Now, that's what I do with that. Um, another folder that I have in my Dropbox is for um, commonly used items. Now, you will find out that you repeat yourself a lot as a Beachbody coach. So, um, things that you see yourself saying over and over and over again, write it out in a document and save it in your folder, commonly used things. So, what is a fitness challenge group? How many times have you answered that question? So typically you end up saying the same thing over and over again. Write it out, put it on there. Um, another one that I end up using a lot are the coach sign up steps. Um, step one, go to my website. Step two, click on coach. Step three, fill out your information. I mean, all of those uh, steps that are at the bottom of the five step invitation process document that are, is in the files of this group. Um, all of those steps down at the bottom, I put them on a document, saved it in my commonly used files so that I can easily and quickly access that without getting on Facebook and going in the files of our team page. So the coach transfer information, I'm explaining to your customers how to do a coach transfer. 
that ends up getting used a lot. Um, the comparison chart, when I love that from Beachbody. Um, you can find that on coachingcoats.com. It has a link for that. Um, but the comparison chart is awesome, sending that to customers so that they can compare the different programs and whatnot. Um, so all of those things that you see, end up seeing a lot, put them, just type it out once. Another thing that I have on here is my Team Forward Fitness page. So I've got, um, you know, like our workbook, our coach manual, all of those uh, documents in here, the PDFs. Um, your coach pictures. Actually, when I introduced you into our team page, I pulled off a photo, I immediately renamed that photo with your name and added it to a folder for coach photos. So when I do rank advancements and when I announce you, do a shout out, you know, that you're doing awesome, I can quickly and easily find your photo without having to go to your Facebook page, pull off the photo again, just makes it easy. Um, testimonials. Testimonials are awesome. So when you have your challenge group, someone makes a great post, they're excited about their weight loss, it's a great idea to take a snapshot of that post and with their permission, post about it on your page. Share like the success of your team. So you can do a screenshot on your Mac by doing command shift number four and that bring, turns your mouse into a like a little screen that like you can pull, drag and pull and do a screenshot of your computer. I don't know how to do a screenshot on a PC, so you'll have to Google that. On your phone, if you have Facebook open, you're in your group, you can do a screenshot by holding down the home button and the power button and just pressing them at the same time really quick. It takes a screenshot, then that shows up in your photos. Then you can edit it. Um, that photo right then and there and write on it, whatever. Um, I really like some of the photo editors of Line Camera, L-I-N-E, Camera. Um, PixArt, P-I-C-S-A-R-T. Um, what's another one? Be Funky is a fun photo editor. Uh, Beautiful Mess, Rona Designs, R-H-O-N-N-A, Designs. All of those, um, are ones where you can write on it, on that picture, you can uh, block out a person's name, put a big smiley face over their profile photo if they, you know, say, yes, you can share this, uh, that post, but, you know, just make it anonymous kind of thing. Um, so those are all things, but I share, I keep a folder for testimonials, so then I can go through that when I haven't shared one, which I haven't in a while, so you kind of go through there. Um, oh, another folder that I have is um, posted. I just labeled it posted. So when I do an inspirational quote on my page, I move that from that folder to the folder of posted so that I know I used it. I already posted this um, somewhere. And then you don't reuse things and um, you can continue filling your inspiring folder with new content. Um, then also when you realize, oh, I remember just posting about this like a week ago and I can't find that photo, you can go to that folder in your Dropbox of posted and find that information. So um, those are my tips on there. One other thing too I wanted to show you guys, on your phone, um, since you are all going to get smartphones, there's an application called Notes and it looks like a little a notepad if you can see that now I have the same thing on here that I have on my computer for commonly used things so when I'm on my phone I work from my phone a lot because I don't want to be tied to the computer I have all my Beachbody links in a document folder on here so what I did is I emailed them to myself first and then from the email I opened it on my phone copied and pasted by holding my finger down on here and then a little thing comes up where you can um, select all, copy and paste. So I have my Shakeology website on here, um, my main Beachbody website, um, things that I found out myself saying as well a ton. So uh, whenever I'm talking to people about coaching and they're like, well, what does that mean? I have a blog where I answer the most frequently asked questions about coaching. I've got a link to that blog post 
on my phone so I can share that with people. Um, a direct link to Sh Order Shakeology, both with my account, my husband's account, my second business center. Um, yeah, just commonly. And then all of the, our um, coach ID numbers down at the bottom too. So things that I find myself saying a lot too. Now, when if you use Instagram, this is kind of a little side note, you should write out all of your posts on your notes app and then just copy and paste because the app may crash. And then you're like, oh, I just wrote everything out in that little tiny box on Instagram and now it's gone. But you can um, write it out on here, copy and paste, um, it's easier to edit things, do a spell check, that kind of thing. So that's another little side note um, with your phone. And I think that's all I wanted to share. Um, but I hope that that helps and gives you some ideas on how to organize things on your computer and save time here and there because every little bit counts. So let me know if you have any questions. We'll talk to you later, bye.